Throughout the ages, the witch has taken many different forms. The times when Celtic tribes roamed throughout Europe, witches were healers and mystics. Both men and women were practitioners in the magic, in a religion that revered nature and fertility. That image is it's an image that came about in the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, around the burning time when the Christian church was, and the burgeoning medical establishment was seeking to suppress the power of the village healer or, or the wise woman or the role that uh, women had in society at that time as nurturers and healers. Even today, the witch in children's stories is depicted as an ugly old crone luring children into fiery ovens or giving poison apples to Snow White. Fiona Horn, acclaimed rock star and witch, has written many books on the subject of white witchcraft. The image of the old cackling hag, I think, came from a period when people lived in fear and ignorance in the Dark Ages. According to some historians, this idea of the witch is actually a throwback to the days when men and women struck by mental illness or simply old age were accused of witchcraft and executed. Few people realize that as they tell their children stories of the evil old witch, they are passing on the legacy of cruelty and murder. Another common description of the witch is a sexual predatory woman who consorts with her lover, the devil. Throughout uh, Western history, the idea of the witch is one that's always been associated with the devil. Today we have neo-pagans, people who have recreated uh, a pagan religion based on whatever evidence they could find and whatever creativity they could muster to start a religion, since all of them begin somewhere. Uh, but Satanism also believes that, that we have a certain claim on certain elements of the title of witch. Uh, our women generally consider themselves to be satanic witches because they use glamour and fascination to manipulate the men in their lives to get things that they want out of them. Uh, it's not a requirement, but it's uh, an option. It's one that's actually very effective. It's been effective since the dawn of time. So uh, our satanic witches are proudly out there doing what they need to do to get what they want. As a female witch, I embrace that term and say, so I am a witch. And yes, think about it. I am, I am empowered. I am independent. You know, I know what I want and I know how to get it. Although witchcraft can be traced back to the pre-Christian magical practices, the witchcraft, or Wicca, that we know of today was actually introduced in 1951 by a British civil servant by the name of Gerald Gardner. Gardner was himself a member of a coven at a time when Britain still had an anti-witchcraft law. As late as 1951, British law stated that witches were to be put to death for the practice of witchcraft. In 1954, Gardner wrote and published the book Witchcraft Today. Gardner brought Wicca into the spotlight and legitimacy into the modern society that it had not seen in centuries. Wicca is a, a nature-worshipping goddess-oriented religion. We believe that nature is sacred and that we as a part of nature are sacred. Um, we not only recognise the God energy, we also recognize Goddess energy. Those who practice Wicca as a religion believe in a creative force which holds both masculine and feminine powers. The underlying truth in Wicca is that the universe in which we live is alive and the various elements are given different names. Contrary to popular belief, Wiccans do not believe in the devil. Belief in the devil and the presence of evil is a Christian concept that was used to drive people away from the pagan religions, such as witchcraft. Most witches, I would say, don't believe that there is an inherently evil force out to get you. Much like, I say, like when I was brought up as a young Catholic, I was taught to believe that the devil was there, ready to jump on me if I did something wrong or to grab my soul at any chance he had. And uh, as a witch, I don't relate to that concept of a, of a a prevalent evil in the universe. Its energy is neutral and how you interpret it and work with it is what it does. As a witch, I, I more focus on um, what there is to enjoy in life and what there is to be empowered by in life in a positive and constructive sense. And an analogy I use, it takes a lot more power to heal someone that has been shot by a gun and injured by a bullet than it takes to fire the bullet. 
Many associate the color black with evil and the powers of darkness, and of course, witches. Many witches will argue that they are not evil. Neither is the color black. Witches wear black because they believe it draws in energy and light. Black is a highly symbolic and powerful color in many religions, including Christian faiths. From the first execution of Bridget Bishop in 1692, Salem, Massachusetts has been linked with witchcraft. Today, Salem draws more than a million visitors each year. Clearly, the fascination with the witch is not waning. And ironically, a community of modern witches formed in Salem as a safe haven to practice their witchcraft. Lori Cabot, a practicing witch for more than 40 years, is the first witch to live publicly in the city of Salem. She is known as the official witch of Salem. I think witchcraft is really popular today because people are looking for answers. They're looking for um, something that's going to help them live life now, as, as we experience life now. And um, a lot of the older religions are based more on the past than on the future. It's a religion, it's a spiritual path of discovery and personal development. So it's, I think that's why it's relevant now, because people aren't as gullible as they used to be.